Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fabulous day today. If you are into vacuums just as much as I am, then you're gonna love my channel, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to bug every single Sunday about vacuum related videos, then don't forget to hit that little bell so you don't miss any of those upcoming related videos. <laughs> How many times did I say videos? I don't know. Anyway, today I have a double unboxing to share with you guys, and you can see they are two Maytag vacuums, the M500 and the M700. I am so excited about these two machines, and I know that this one, well, they're probably both similar to something you already have, but we'll talk into that. If you know more than me, please leave it in the comment section down below. All right. I got this from a seller on eBay who has a couple of each of them. The listing says they're brand new in the box, which they are. They look like they're all factory sealed and everything still, so let's find out. I got both of these for like 300 and something dollars total for both of them. <laughs> like crazy, right? Uh, let's open this one up first because I'm really excited about it. <laughs> and we'll do this one in just a moment. I'm gonna scoot this over here. So you can still stare at it in the little box. Now it has, um, it just has this picture on the front. Made, assembled in St. James, Missouri. Maytag vacuums are proudly assembled by 150 employees in St. James, Missouri. USA. I'm hoping the color of this, um, I just peeled off the shipping label. I think I got it, all of them, yeah. And it looks like we're going to have to open it maybe through the bottom would probably be the best. I don't know. Let's just cut open the top and see what happens. Ugh, hopefully nothing's broken. Fingers crossed. So you know how these people are slamming around the stuff. Oh my gosh, if you have any of either of these machines, please tell me. I want to know what you think. Alright, we have a piece of cardboard. We have this. Okay, I'm going to have to stand up and do this, I think. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to pull this out. This is the handle assembly. It's, the, it's got a nice weight to it. Okay, I really like this so far. Just throw it over there. So here's like the handle. like a brushed metal. Nice. Okay. I don't know why this is scratched right here like that. And the cord is kind of... Huh. Okay. Well, I'll slip it down. And... Hmm. Here's the hose. Like we have a tool here. Oh, we've got a manual down here. We got the this is a nice metal. Ooh, I like that too. This is not scratched up or anything. I like this. This is metal. I love these wands. These nice telescoping. It's got a good feel to it. Okay. That looks like it's all empty. 
So we'll discard that. And pray the machine is okay. Okay. And I don't think there's anything else in the box, so we'll just set that over there. Ooh, I love this color. Oh, it's like a pearl white Cadillac. Ooh, I just heard a click before the Ferrari. Ooh, pretty. Oh, I love this color. Oh, I am fully suffocating right now. Oh, my God. The color of this paint job is beautiful. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, just rip it off. Come on, let's do that. Oh my god, help me. What is in the box? Oh, here's a, um, a brush tool. It looks like an upholstery tool. Okay, that was it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Can you see this? Look at this color. Okay, like the Mila is like just like a plain flat white. This is like a pearl white, like the Cadillac. It's like a pearl white Cadillac DeVille. Oh my gosh, I am like obsessing right now. It has the lifetime belt. This is beautiful. This is a really, this is really pretty. Floor, tools, carpet. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got like, what's the bottom like? Let's look. Ooh, really nice. Metal plate, metal brush roll. These are rubberized wheels. I love when they do the small wheels like that. The big ones are like that, but so are the small ones. This is really solid. Ooh, I like this a lot. This is really fancy. This is like a Recar. Is this a Recar? Is this a Vibrance, basically? Isn't that kind of what this is? It's just a Vibrance. Okay, so here's the back. I can't get over the color and how this looks. I feel like this just looks, this looks really good. Ooh, it like this glides across the floor. Wow, this is awesome. I like I like the Maytag emblem there. I feel like it's just laid out really well. This looks so good. I wish this wasn't scratched up. Maybe I can kind of polish it up a bit or something. This, ooh, that has a nice feel to it. It. Here's your HEPA filter. Here's your cloth bag. Another filter here. Ooh, this is nice. Yay! Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow. Wow. Look at this paint job on here. Is it? I hope it's picking up. It is really pretty looking. Wow. It feels like car paint. Like, that is really nice. Wow. Okay. Spending a lot of time on the paint.
handle. I'm assuming this goes here, just like that. And uh, why is that like? That stuff isn't there very tight. It's supposed to go the other way, maybe. Okay, I guess it's supposed to go with the um, not feathers, but the brushes. Facing inward. And this is like. This is an airflow adjuster right here. So you can adjust the flow. Okay. And then this just, oh, you, that you, flip it, you can flip it open so it's like a clean out port. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I am so excited about the jacket right now. I just, I hope you guys can see how nice it looks in person. Wow. I'm really impressed with how beautiful this looks. Okay. And into, these are all tied up and everything. And I let, of course, I let my freaking scissors. I guess I can do this. Just be careful, I guess. I'm scared. I don't want to like, damage the cardboard. You know what? I'm not doing this. I'm going to have to get scissors. We'll do it later. But this, I need to unscrew this. I'm just going to pop this off for a moment. I do like this. Um, it's kind of got, it's kind of like the Mila a little bit. It's kind of got like a slight angle though. It's not quite as, as this feels good. It feels nice and comfortable. So I love that. I can extend and take a look at there. <laughs> nice. Okay, what does it say? Made in USA of globally sourced components. I love that though. At least it's partially made in the US for crying out loud. I already talked about the globally sourced components a million times. I'm trying to feel about that. Okay, now this is. I don't know what the difference, please tell me because I don't know. You're going to have to leave in the comment section down below. I don't know the difference between the M700 and I think it was an M1200. Is the M1200 a tandem air machine? Is that what the difference between the two is? I like this handle a lot. This is a nice handle. It's got the rubber. Can you see that? It's got rubber on the top and behind. And I love this on off switch here. So I like that. It doesn't look like there's, I don't know. I wonder, I'm assuming this down here is where how you turn off the brush roll on and off. I'm assuming. Okay, it looks like this is gonna go in. Like this. Slides in right into place. Maybe. Okay. All right, get the screw in, right? <clears throat> All right. There we go. So that is. Together, pretty much, right? Okay, and that looks like from the picture of the hose. This is turns a little bit, and it goes like this. I think it's what the picture said, right? You guys are probably yelling at your TV or phone or whatever. Put it on this way. Oh, okay, the 
are supposed to be facing upwards like this, I guess. But how is that? Like that. Gosh dang it, I keep like screwing this up. Okay, wait a minute, this goes, okay. I gotta get the cord thing off, because the hose then goes, okay, it's fine. It'll be fine. Okay, cool. Well, there is machine number one. Machine number one. I don't think this is too, this is not, this is, I mean, it's a heavy, I mean, this feels like it's, this is very similar to that Cirrus machine over there. I mean, even the setup and everything. I'll do comparisons and stuff like that. Um, it's got, how does it recline? You push it and then, ooh, it's solid. I mean, there's like no wiggling to this machine at all. This is really fancy. Okay, that's enough with this one. We'll do a first run and stuff like that in another video because I want to get this other one unboxed. Because I clearly need scissors to cut this stupid thing off. I don't want to freaking damage the cord. I hope the color of this is coming off. I really do, because it is really nice looking. Okay. Let's move on to our next machine. We'll just set that beautiful babe right there. Look at that. Gosh. And now up to this M500. Ugh, the color of this with that pearl and the black. Oh my gosh, I am dead over this. I'm so excited. I am dead, dead, dead. And I'm a huge, obviously, I love my Oryx. Because <laughs> they're lightweight. They're easy to move around. My house is giant. I have lots of stairs. It's three levels. So, it's... Nice to be able to easily move around. Okay, so this is how that one's packaged. You can kind of see the bag right there. Um, this is connected, so we're gonna pull this out. Hopefully. What am I doing? This is all, I'm gonna have to lay it down. We're gonna have to pull it out this way. I don't wanna damage anything. Cause, okay, because the cord, it's all hooked up to the machine. Right here. All right, we got our M500 thing. So there's that. This is more of like a soft plastic, which is interesting. Okay. So here we go. We got a wooden brush roll. see the scratching in a certain angle. Okay, let me pop this up. Wow, beautiful. Really nice. And this has got that same nice handle. Wow, that feels... It's got the same... It's this, Okay, this has got the two speeds, which I love, like my Oryx. So I love that on here. That's a metal right there. Oh, awesome. I just think this looks so good. Doesn't that look good? I have like a, 
obviously I have like a black and white thing going on. <laughs> yeah, that's, wait, three, five. Yeah. Five black and whites. I'm digging it. I'm just digging this. It's doing it. Wait, how much time do I have? Okay. I just want to make sure we're not at like 30 minutes yet. I'm like, what oh my god, I like that this zips all the way down. And wow, this is lined really nice. Okay, this has got a cloth bag too. Sweet. Can you guys see this? This is a nice, nice big cloth bag in here. And it has got, I don't know if you can see, but there's foam, like insulation. It's got a bag dock. This is all padded in the back here behind. So that's awesome for like noise. That's gonna be, I bet this is gonna be really quiet. Okay, so leave that like that. Turn this over here. This looks, this is so similar to the simplicity machine over here. Even like this, how this is all set up. Very similar. And what, is this made by Takomi? Is that who made this? Probably. I wonder if it says on the label, I'll have to check. They're probably all made in the same frickin' factory. scratched, but whatever. I mean, these look like they came from the factory because they weren't like retaped. It had that brown tape on it. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it's not like it was opened and then resealed or something. It is on here. Okay, good. I really like this brushed metal. This cord is just got these twisty ties, so let's get these on. I'm so excited about these. I am so freaking excited. I was wanting these and looking for them. Okay, so I think the cord you can snap it in. Wait, I think that goes behind. I think you feed it. It's just like feed it in here. I'll do that in a little bit. Okay. So here we go. Is that not nice looking? Let's take the plastic off. Nice. Okay, it's got these really nice soft uh, bumpers here. I don't know if the... No, that's not LED. That looks like a very... I bet I can change it out to LED though inside. I bet I can do that. It kind of looks funny because it's not like frosted like the other one is. Is it supposed to be frosted? I don't know. It's hard to tell from the picture. 
I also look on Lion, take some more picture or take, um, take a look at some of the pictures. Because it's not frosted, you can just like see right into the machine. <laughs> That's kind of strange. Um, but uh, Different. It's just weird it's not frosted like that. But it looks really good. Wow. And it's super light. Yeah, this is super, super light. Okay. And then the bottom we have our wood. We got these are yeah, these are rubber right here. These little tiny wheels right there are rubber. Then we have these in the center. Those are rubber. The big guys in the back. Those are rubber. Really nice. Seems pretty solid. Okay, this says Maytag made in the USA. MaytagVacuums.com. It doesn't say like Tacony or anything like that. So we got a nice metal brush roll. Or not metal. Nice wooden brush roll. I like the bristles. I do wish it had the Okay, it's got these side vents on there. I like how my Oryx have the side brushes. I actually really think that does help. I see it helping. So I like the side brushes. Um, these little side vents though look like they probably will do a pretty good job. So we shall see. Okay, well this is getting long enough. So, that's it. There we go, here's my two new Machines. <laughs> I just can't believe I got these. I seriously can't believe I got these. For 300 and whatever dollars for both of these. <laughs> That's just crazy. <laughs> and awesome. So what do you think? Here, thumbnail. Is this good? Let's see, we'll try, we'll just like... Okay, that's enough. All right, thank you guys so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have either of these machines, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys, see your, um, hear your thoughts on them. Um, and if you know any information about them, go ahead and drop it down there because I probably know more than I do. And yeah, I'm really excited. So thank you guys so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. So until next time, you guys keep it tight. Talk to you later. Bye.